But right now, we're just talking about the concept of war and the presidency. So we have done the right thing, and we're going to press this war until the Russians give it up or until they basically put themselves into the poorhouse in such a way that it's going to be decades, many, many decades before they're going to be able to climb out of it. So whatever the Ukrainian needs, the rest of the world needs to supply them. Now, let's change uh, chapters here a little bit. We also have China. China has turned into a belligerent country. We've seen all of the military aggression that they have displayed around Taiwan. We know they have a problem with India. We know they're trying to control the South China Sea. Folks, 80% of the world's uh, commerce travels through the S South China Sea at the moment. There is no way on this planet that the United States is ever going to let China take Taiwan, control the South China Sea, and in any way uh, dent the world order as we know it. But the question is, when you're the president and you're talking to your staff, what is the best way to stop Chinese aggression and to bring it into the, the Russian-Ukraine debacle? Well, the answer is a strong military, a strong, capable, willing, fighting force sends a message to all of the aggressors around the world that military adventurism will be stopped in its tracks. In other words, we can call this the Reagan Doctrine, the Eisenhower Doctrine. You want a peaceful nation, you want a peace-loving country, there's only one road that we can travel to achieve that, and that is to maintain an incredibly super strong military force that essentially will overwhelm any and all enemies.